Okay, so I want to talk about cleaning a bike chain. And it's really funny, you know, when you're a young kid, you read these magazines, you know, bicycling magazine, mountain bike action magazine, all these different magazines, and they tell you about, you know, cleaning your chain. And as a young kid, you know, I, I sat there, I bought this degreaser nonsense from my local store. And I you know, got a toothbrush, I'm sitting there cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. It, it doesn't clean. It's just, it never cleaned. It didn't matter. You know, it's really weird, actually. Like, and I, I used to actually really do it. I mean, I did it more than once, you know. It's like, it never worked. I, I didn't get it. I, I, I still don't get it. But this degreaser stuff just was crap way back in the day. So, but I, I you know, I listen to people who supposedly claim they knew what they were talking about. Um, and eventually a friend of mine told me, Hey, yeah, I want to use gasoline. He's like, just, you know, take, take a little container, pour some gasoline in there and then take your chain and put in the gasoline and you don't even need the toothbrush. <laughs> and I'll be damned. That guy was right. That gasoline just literally ate all the grease off that chain. It was completely impeccable. Like it was perfect. It's like, whoa, this is stuff. So I started doing that, putting whatever, you know, you know, I generally put at the time. I remember white lightning was my, my favorite for a long period of time. It's like, you know, nowadays I think there's tons of good stuff. Yeah, but so gasoline was definitely interesting. <laughs> I just I remember sitting there with a toothbrush and like in my basement, I'm like, man. And then, you know, I just throw gasoline in, you know, come back a little while later. It's, it's good. You use a toothbrush a little bit just to make sure everything's done. But yeah, if it's soaked under, underneath the gas, it, it, it was clean. And then it's funny, I started reading some articles of, you know, people that are, let's just say, a little more knowledgeable. And I read an article saying that you should never clean your chain. Boom, 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 boom. I was like, what? Yeah, and it made sense. It's, it's a funny thing. What, what they argued was the fact that once a chain is assembled, there's no way to lube up inside the pins in, into certain areas. Only when you're assembling it can you get in those areas. So therefore, the original lube is the best stuff you're ever going to have because it's the only stuff that's ever going to penetrate these regions. Like, man, that makes sense. It, so, and, and the point being, the more lubrication you have, the more efficient your system is going to be. That's like, oh boy. <laughs> so it's like, oh boy, like I've been doing all this work to make my bike worse. It's like, oh, what an idiot, you know? And it's not like I'm the only one. I think everybody's been doing this. Everyone who, who tries to be a serious cyclist does this. It's really crazy. You know, I mean, the whole idea of degreaser is to get rid of that grease. Well, put in fresh new grease. You can never put the fresh new grease in when you get rid of the good grease. I actually believe that it's more efficient using the original stuff. So I, I stopped cleaning my chain partially because I'm lazy too. But honestly, I believe this stuff. Well, I don't know how to measure this. Okay, I'm not gonna measure this, how's that sound? If I wanted to, I probably couldn't measure it. But it's it's not something I'm gonna be measuring in my life. It's not really <laughs> that experience. It's not the thing. If there's a young student out there who wants to play around, go for it. You know, a lot of people will be curious. But yeah, I actually do believe it's more efficient. Number one, it's obviously better for the environment. Who needs to use degreaser and, and gasoline and, and dispose of this nonsense? And everything should last longer. It's just better for the environment and it's easier. You don't have to sit there and scrub, scrub, scrub. Really crazy, actually. I, I just, you know, I don't understand why a lot of these articles make it into print. I, I, I just don't get it. You know, trust me, I can say, you know, the, these articles, they recycle every 
year, two years, three years in all these major magazines. It's like they can't print anything good, so they recycle old articles. And this is a classic recycled article. I had to go to your chain. They do this all the time in all these different magazines, you know. I guess, you know, magazines are going online now, so maybe they, it, it might have changed a little bit, but I can tell you when I was a kid growing up, this, they were hitting it hard with that article in multiple publications over and over again. And, you know, when you're told to do something and you're a good, you know, you, you know you're good for it, you do it. I don't think this is something anyone should do. But, you know, feel free to decide for yourself is, I guess, really the point of this video. You know, if you think it's better, you do it. And if you don't, don't do it. But think about it. Don't just blindly go and do something, you know, because others say it. It doesn't make sense. Thank you for watching.